What's good? It's your boy CJ Goodfella back with TBC and more. And um, don't forget, I'm going to leave a uh, link to the new channel for the uh, tech stuff. Do, do it yourself. Um, jailbreaking phones, you know, <clears throat> fire sticks, you know, you know, APKs, how to cut the cable costs, how to get rid of cable altogether and get cable channels, premium channels for free, pay-per-view boxing, pay-per-view UFC, you name it. I got the remedy for it. It's a couple uh, videos already dropped on there about how to get some free sports. So click that link to new channels. Also, um, you know, the Facebook page link, you can subscribe to it. I mean, like uh, on Facebook. Also, we got the donation set up. We got some things coming. We're going to travel to some fights. I'm looking at going to the Crawford fight. Um, looking at going to, um, you know, uh, uh, Jose Ramirez fight. I maybe do that one as well. March 17th versus Amir Mine. Um, some shirts, giving out some shirts to some guys in the radio show. Um, looking up some prices to start the show. We're going to do some uh, a few regular live stream show runs. But, um, you know, if you feel like donating, we'll greatly appreciate it. And um, definitely see if we get some gloves signed and some stuff we can give away and raffle away. But apparently, it seems like Eddie Hearn wants to match Danny Jacobs' match from USA with Gary O'Sullivan. Now, Gary O'Sullivan just stopped Antoine Douglas on HBO um, in Canada on the Billy Joe Saunders, um, Dave Lemieux card. Uh, he previously got beat by Billy Joe Saunders. That was talking about a rematch between O'Sullivan and Saunders. They sparred together a lot, according to the HBO broadcast. Um, and then O'Sullivan got he quit basically, from what I'm understanding, versus Chrissy Banks Jr. already. And um, you know, it sounds like uh, you know most of the you know they did a voting, but most of the match room people that follow on on Twitter where they voted at, and apparently Gary O'Sullivan won, is from the UK. You know, and that's not how you build a fighter in Danny Jacobs um, in America by putting him versus a virtually unknown guy from the UK who had a good showing versus Douglas. But Douglas got stopped by uh, Kurt, uh, by Kurt Tits already, who got hit with the Rico for his mob ties. And you don't seem like he getting out of jail no time soon. Um, also, um, you know. You just, I mean, he need an American opponent. Most people want to see him as far as the hardcore and the Pierce fans. Want to see him versus Jamal Charlo. Want to see him versus Demetrius Andrade, Billy Joe Saunders. They want to see him versus, you know, Sergei Shizanko. Somebody of that nature. Um, maybe not so much Saunders, because we know Saunders already priced himself out. And Frank Warren and Eddie Hearn, from what I'm understanding, from the U.K., homie. Shout out to the U.K. and everybody in Europe saying that, you know, it's impossible for, for uh, Saunders, and, I mean, for Frank Warren and Eddie Hearn to work together. It's like Bob Arum and Al Heyman, but worse. At least Bob and Al worked a couple fights last year or the, in the year after last. But um, with John Molina and Crawford and then Diaz and Crawford, um, they have worked together. And it seems like Frank Warren and, you know, um, you know, Eddie Hearns just won't happen. But, you know, stylistically, while this would be a good fight for Jacobs to get a highlight real knockout, let's look at the positive. Um, Sullivan is a, is a patient fighter. Um, you know, he broke down Antoine Douglas. Uh, he seems to recover from getting stopped and quitting versus Chrissy Banks Jr. But if he can't hang with Chrissy Banks Jr. at 160, what makes people think that he can hang with Danny Jacobs? Now, Chrissy Banks Jr. did swerve Danny Jacobs. Um, he had a regular WA title shot versus Jacobs. Uh, I think he went another route for the British Commonwealth belt or something like that. And it went under wraps. It went very quietly because E Banks has a nice little fan base. And he did swerve and duck Danny Jacobs. Maybe it wasn't. Worth the um, it wasn't worth it at the point, and financially, it probably wasn't worth it for him. And he's going to do good things in the world boxing super series, world boxing super six or well, series tournament, whatever it's called. And I was facing George Groves, and he's probably gonna earn a lot more money versus George Groves than he could ever earn versus Danny Jacobs at this point. But O'Sullivan, I like him a lot, man. You know what he showed versus uh, Antoine Douglas. Uh, he showed a lot of patience, he showed a lot of composure, he showed a good power, he showed some good skill level. He's a tough, tough guy, man. I, I would, I'm not against this fight. I welcome this fight, but Danny Jacobs needs a bigger fight. But he, they want to play it safe mode until Canelo and Triple G plays out. Same way Billy Joe Saunders playing it safe. So what y'all got to understand, Eddie Hearn wants you know him Jacobs versus Triple G because he feels this guy can beat Triple G, especially if Triple G beats Canelo. The, the win looks so much better for Jacobs come you know in the rematch if they can make that fight happen. And HBO execs probably want that fight to happen more than anything after after that, you know, after the Billy Joe Saunders fight, and they can have a rematch versus Jacobs, and um, 
you know, he can do the, he can do his thing and, and try to regain that glory that he lost in the close controversial decision versus Triple G. So a lot of guys playing it safe, you know, well, two guys playing it safe, Billy Joe Saunders and Danny Jacobs. Danny Jacobs would do it because he don't hold a belt. So he can do whatever you want. He still ranked highly in the WBC. He still ranked, you know, highly in other belts. You know, Billy Joe Saunders still his title. He wants to triple G fight. And triple G fight for him seems like it's going to be one of his last fights. Um, Said he wants to retire at 30. He's already 28, probably 2029 20, this year. So, you know, he locking in on his dream fight and, and fighting triple G, you know, supposed to be in Kazakhstan for a lot of money, $5 million at least. So, you know, he's holding off for that. Um, and, you know, it really hinges if Triple G beats Canelo. If Canelo beats Triple G, I don't know how much willing would these guys be willing to fight Triple G at that point and what he's worth. I know he still holds the triple the, the WBC belt because Canelo don't want to fight for it. But um, it'll break a lot of hearts as far as Danny and Billy Joe Saunders if he loses because Canelo is not fighting those guys unless it's forced and shoved down his shoved down his throat. So let me know what y'all think about O'Sullivan versus Jacobs. We gone.